hear about it. The first thing you probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me. And all that David Copperfield kind of crap. Well, I'm not going into it if you want to know the truth. In the first place, that stuff bores me. And in the second place, my parents would probably have two hemorrhages of peace if they found out I was talking about them. They're touchy as hell. I mean, they're nice and all. I'm not saying that. But they're really touchy as hell. Especially my father. Where I want to start telling is the day I left Pensy Prep. I just didn't want to hang around anymore. It made me too sad and too lonesome. So what I decided to do, I decided I'd take a room in a hotel in New York. I sort of needed a little vacation. My nerves were shot. They really were. I went down by a different staircase, and I saw another fudge on the wall. I tried to rub it off with my hand again, but this one was scratched on with a knife or something. It wouldn't come off. It's hopeless anyway. If you had a million years to do it in, you can rub even half of the fudge signs in the world. It's impossible. I was wondering where the ducks went when they, the lagoon got all icy and frozen over. I wondered if some guy came in a truck and took them away into a zoo or something. Or if they just flew away. I walked all the way back to the hotel. 41 gorgeous blocks. I didn't do it because I felt like walking or anything. It was more because I didn't feel like getting in and out of a taxi cab. Sometimes you get tired of riding in taxi cabs the same way you get tired of riding in elevators. <laughs> it's funny. Don't ever tell anybody anything. If you do, you start missing everybody. Coming soon.